Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This lesson is all about order of operations. Example, to stay healthy, Laila is eating fruits every day. At the grocery store, Laila plans to buy 3 kilos of lanzones for 90 pesos per kilo and 1 kilo of watermelon at 30 pesos. How much will she pay at the cashier? Our given are the following 3 kilos of lanzones. And that is 90 pesos per kilo. Then we have also 1 kilo of watermelon. And it's it is sold at 30 pesos per kilo first is we need to write a numerical expression to represent the situation and what is numerical expression it is a combination of numbers operation signs and grouping symbols grouping symbols show which operation should be done first for this case let's write the numerical expression so we have three kilos times 90 plus 30 to find the value of this mathematical expression the following are the rules number one we have to perform the operation within each pair of grouping symbols grouping which includes parenthesis, brackets, and braces. So we do whatever operation inside the brackets, braces, and parenthesis beginning with the innermost pair. Second, we'll do exponent if there is, but in this situation we don't have that, so we'll just write here exponent. Third, Next is perform multiplication or division from left to right or whichever operation comes first. So this in third spot, we have two spots here. That is multiplication and division. Which ever comes first. Lastly, Perform addition or subtraction from left to right or whichever operation comes first. So let's write here addition, then subtraction, whichever comes first. I guess we're ready. So we'll do the groupings first. We have here in the problem 3 times 90 is equal to 3 times 90 or 90 times 3. That's 0 times 3 is 0, 9 times 3 is 27, we get 270, then copy 30. Next, we will add 270 and 30, so 270 plus 30, that's 0, that's 7 plus 3 is 10, carry 1, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, that gives us 300, so... We will write 300. It means Laila will pay 300 pesos at the cashier. Another example, Irene is an online seller who sells black sambo to her customers. Yesterday, she spent 750 pesos on the ingredients and made 50 cups of black sambo out of it. How much profit will she gain if each cup is 25 pesos? For this problem, our given are the following. We have 750 pesos. Irene's capital next is 50 cups and 25 pesos. So what will be our mathematical expression for this problem? First, we can have 50 cups times 25 pesos or just simply write 25 then whatever is the proceeds from there we will minus 
750 because that is Irene's capital. Then we will get the profit. Using the gem that's rule we have here on the right, we will answer this problem. Let's start. Do we have groupings? Yes, we have 50 times 25 here. So we'll just multiply 50 times 25. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Then we'll just add 0, 5, 2, and then 1. It means the total proceeds Irene will get is 1,250 pesos. Then we will subtract 750 pesos. We will erase this one first so that we will have the space for solving. Now, let's subtract unless if we still have exponents here do we have exponents do we have multiplication or division um, do we have addition and subtraction yes we have subtraction then we can just subtract 1250 and 750 pesos so let's do that zero zero so this become 12, this is 0, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. So our answer is 500 pesos. It means Irene will get 500 pesos as her profit. We'll have examples. Let's say 8 times 2 plus 9. Okay, which do you think we're going to do first? Based on the GEMDES rule here, do we have groupings? None. Do we have exponents? None. Do we have multiplication or division? Yes, we have. That's 8 times 2. We can do this one first. Then that will be 8 times 2 is 16. Then copy 9. Next. 16 plus 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. It means the answer here is 25. That's so easy. Next example, do we have groupings? Yes, we have. Inside the groupings, we have addition and subtraction. So which do you think we'll do first? Are we going to add? Or are we going to multiply? So we need to do multiplication based on the GEMDAS rule. Then after that, we will do the addition. Let's do it. We'll copy the parentheses and the 25 because we will do multiplication first. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Then just copy the 10 here. Next, we will do the ones inside the parentheses, and that is 25 plus 12. 25 plus 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is 37. Then subtract 10. Equals 37 minus 10. That will give you 27. That is our answer. Next, we have 2 squared plus 3 times 8. Do we have groupings? No, we don't have. Do we have exponents? Yes, this time we have. What do we mean by 2 squared? 2 squared means 2 times 2. It means the equivalent of this is equal to 4. So let's write. We'll do first 2 squared. That is, the equivalent of that is 4. Then copy 3 times 8. What do you think are we going to do first? Are we going to add or multiply? Based on the GEMDAS rule, we will do multiplication first. So it means we will do 3 times 8 first. We'll copy 4 plus 3 times 8 is 24. 4 plus 24 is equal to 28. 
That is our answer. Another one. Do we have groupings? Yes, we have 54 minus 9 and then 6 minus 3. Okay, we'll do 54 minus 9 first. So 54 minus 9, if we're going to subtract that, so this become 14, this become 4. 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 and then bring down 4. It means 54 minus 9 is 45 divided by, what is 6 minus 3? That is 3, then copy the square. Next, are we going to do exponent first or we will do division first? So based on the GEMDAS rule, we will do exponents first. So what is 3 squared? 3 squared means 3 times 3. Okay, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So let's copy 45, then we will copy division sign, then 9. Next, we can already answer 45 divided by 9. How many 9's are there in 45? We have 5. So our answer here is 5. We have another one. 2 cubed minus 2 times 7. So which do you think we'll do first? Is it going to be the groupings or is it going to be the exponent? So we will um, choose the grouping and of course we have the exponent inside the grouping so we'll do 2 cube first what do we mean by 2 cube 2 cube means 2 times 2 times 2 okay 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 it means 2 cube is equal to 8 then copy 2 then copy the parentheses times 7 so which do you think we're going to do first? We'll do the one inside the parenthesis. That's 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Then copy times 7. 6 times 7. The answer is 42. So that is our answer. Next example, we have this. Which do you think we're going to do first? But of course, based on our GEMDAS rule, we will do what is inside the parenthesis. So we'll copy this. 12 divided by 3 times 6 plus 10 minus 3 is 7. So we'll write 7, then copy the square. Next, we will do the exponent. So we'll still copy this. 12 divided by 3 times 6 plus 7 squared is... 7 times 7, which is equivalent to 49. So this one, 7 squared is equal to 49. Next, are we going to divide first or multiply first or add first? So based on the GEMDAS rule, we will have uh, multiplication or division, whichever comes first. Since we have division first, appeared in this mathematical expression we will do the division so 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 then times 6 plus 49 next we will times or odd in this case we will multiply so that is 4 times 6 is equivalent to 24 plus 49 24 plus 49 4 plus 9 is equivalent to 13. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 4 is 73. 73 is our final answer. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!